good morning everybody so i am live here with you for the first time swati i have got your attendance those who are coming up now you they will give their attendance by writing down no hello ma'am no good morning ma'am just write down your name in the live chat section like this okay i'm just typing something those who are coming up now will type their name over here in the live chat section okay so that i can take the attendance of all of you who are joining all of you just give your attendance over there yes i'm getting your attendance hello shri yuti shri duti uh, antara or antana and there is dipanshi where are my boys all the girls have joined there are no boys at all boys also please come on join fast all of you uh, those who know each other can also personally message each other to join the live class as soon as possible okay so uh, we are go today going to have a short and quick revision of the two chapters that we have gone through okay piyush i just write your name don't write hello just write your name if it is your name is piyush only just write your name okay so uh, i we in this video today we are we are going to have such videos every day now like this okay so in this today's video we are going to first revise uh, yes oh your name is priyashi prasad okay very good i've got your name where are my boys there are only girls whom i can see over here boys come on start joining all the links are given in the group those who know each other come on message uh, the friends personally so that they also can come up and join okay so today we are going to the things that we are going to do is first revision of the two literature chapters that we have done through the videos secondly is a quick revision of the editing and the omission video that i have sent yesterday i'm going to give you a quick revision of the editing and the omission section got my point so uh, first we are going through the revision of the first chapter that is the best christmas present in the world the best christmas present in the world deals with the story of a uh, uh, yes i'm getting agnibho and i'm okay 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 agnibho i'm got i've got agnibho okay so uh, the story of uh, uh, the best christmas present uh, uh, in the whole, in the world uh, relates to the story of the first world war some of you were asking which world war it was it was the first world war we are talking about when england is in one side and the two main powers on force was england and german if you want to get a good idea about this first world war and just want to see what was the condition a very good movie for the children yes ronak i've got you um a very good movie for the children to know about first world war is wonder woman it is there in amazon prime and in many other sources if you get the movie of uh, wonder woman you will get to know about the first world war where england and german were fighting two names have been used over here tommy and fritz fritz is the name used for the german people and tommy is the name used for the english people why because yes dipanjan i've got you so uh, J tommy is a very common name used by the english people like we have ram sita and all this kind of common name no it is not a marvel movie it is a dc movie dc world movie okay marvel movies are iron man and thor and uh, uh, captain america and this is uh, superman uh, batman and wonder woman that is dc world this is my uh, thor uh, captain america and um and all those things are yes a dc movie yes very yes it is a dc movie so if you get to see wonder woman you will get an idea about world war so um it uh, tommy is a very common english name that has been the english people has been referred as tommy and fritz is a very common german name that is why the german people has been named as fritz now this story takes us back to the time of the first world war when a soldier is away from home okay the soldier is away from home doing or fighting and basically all these soldiers were not soldiers at all they were civil people there were teachers there were musicians there were um, many other like a cook baker all of them were fighting okay because we needed more and more soldiers so the civil people were also included yes it is a justice league movie and captain america is 
in uh, that um, avengers thing okay captain america is in avengers wonder woman is in justice league so just think about the condition i am in live class talking about superheroes now stop talking about superheroes i'll just come up to with this afterwards so uh, um this we are we are being taken away to a to a to a uh, to a time when this soldier this man is fighting in the war and he has written a letter to his wife okay corny is his wife to written a letter to his wife promising that he will be returning soon but as we come to know till the end of the chapter he never returns okay yes they won they won england won the first world war england won the first world war as german was not having enough power to go on with the war there were not enough resources to supply to be supplied to the soldiers there were not enough ammunitions ammunitions means cartridges um, machine guns and all those ammunitions also they were not having and not enough food to supply to the soldiers also and the countries were also going through economical loss as we all know during the time of corona virus our country is also going through a economic loss because we cannot go out and work and if we do not work the country is going through a economical loss similar was the case of world war when two two countries two major countries are fighting and all the other countries are allied in the two groups the whole world was going through economical loss economic crisis when food was lacking money was lacking people were dying everywhere women were getting widowed because they were not going to fight so they are getting widowed children are getting orphaned this was the situation he is talking about the author is talking about when the man is writing to his wife the incident on the day of christmas the two sides my internet is lagging a bit please uh, see whether you can see me or not yes the bullets are also part of the ammunition very well said ronak please uh, yes i think my internet problem is solved so um, these two team the english and the german on the day of the christmas they are coming together forgetting their differences forgetting the fact that they are fighting against each other they are coming together in a place which is called the no man's land and having a wonderful time together asking each other about each other's personal life that what you do for a living i have a, a little child of 6 month back at home they are talking exchanging casualties like this they are talking about their personal life at that in between that war situation when thousands of people are dying on both side these innocent soldiers who are actually been controlled by the political heads of the country they are becoming the uh, signature or becoming the symbol of humanity in the time of war so the man is writing to his wife that i have experienced something different from this war we were actually talking to each other we were sharing food we were sharing drink we were having a football match over there okay and after he writes all this thing to his wife maybe he has died a few days after that got the news of his death she wanted that letter to be buried with her when he she will so uh, uh, she tells that she has written in the on the top of the letter that the letter should be buried the letter should be buried with me with my in my coffin when i die okay so the young boy who has got this letter after so many years goes back to find corny the wife of the person who has written the letter what was the name of the uh, soldier macpherson do you remember that macpherson yes so macpherson's letter after reading the macpherson's letter he goes back to find corny and give her back that letter which he finds in the hidden drawer in the old what is that called roll desk you remember the picture that i have sent you of roll desk so from the hidden drawer of the roll desk yes he has yes jim macpherson very well said he goes back to corny and he uh, wants to give it back to corny on the day of christmas when he goes to find corny he finds her in a old age home a, a place where old people are kept in 
uh, foreign countries okay and they go there he, he goes there and finds connie and connie actually thinks that when when he gives a letter to him letter to her connie thinks that her husband is back okay and he she offers him the favorite cake of her husband that is marzipan the special cake that has been talked in the letter that he has shared with the german people similarly he gives her what was the name of the german officer german officer's name was hans wolf remember hans wolf what it yes he she offers the um, marzipan which was his which was her husband's favorite to this a uh, little boy uh, to the not the little boy but to the man who has come up to sub give her the letter okay and uh, when the letter is given the author feels that this is this can be the best best ever gift given to a person what was the gift the gift was not the letter the gift was the hope the hope that was given to yes very well said the name of the nursing home or the old age home they are called it nursing home but the old age home they actually it is it refers that nursing home actually refers to the old age home it is the burlington house yes the ronak the name of the nursing home is burlington house so um the the gift the best christmas present if somebody if the question comes that what is the best christmas present the best christmas present was not the letter it was the hope that the woman that connie received at that day by seeing that boy who came back to see con to give connie that letter the hope to live on the hope that a human person knowing everything can give to another human person the author could have said that i am not your husband but he hasn't because he also loved the fact that this has been the best christmas present that he could have given to that woman accepting that he is the uh, husband because she was deriving happiness out of it maybe the last bit of happiness that he could have had in the last days of her life what my point so i hope very late joining prachi you should have joined very uh, early okay to so try to join early from the next classes i hope this uh, best christmas present um, in the world is clear to you the revision is clear to you now if you are having any question regarding this chapter you can question me in the personal whatsapp not in the group but in the personal whatsapp now all of you try to write this write some few points down in your notebook i hope all of you are having the notebook in your um, just near you so that you can whenever you are revising a chapter start making a note piece a notebook revision system through which if you go you get all the important points that you need to remember got it first point i have said in the video is the date with, which is given in the letter i am not going to give you you have to bring out the date and write it over there second point that you are going to write are the two names given first name the two names of the whatever the german peoples were called and whatever the english people were called okay i hope you can all see the board i'll just make it like this and i'll put the light a little towards board so that you can see it i hope now you can see the board so uh, first point is obviously you would not write date you will find the date up and then write first point is the date when the letter is oh god i've chosen the right letter the date when the letter is being written what it next point is that british people were called tommy okay this is taking rough notes like when we read in college when we read in high, go and do our higher studies we take our notes like this now you are old enough and you are doing online classes so i think now it's high time that you should also start making your own notes okay like this we make our notes so that we can revise our lessons very quickly yes beta very good um yes very well said dipanshi 26 12 1914 is the date i'll just write down 26 12 1914 14. got it so um british were called the tommy and the german were called fritz got it next point that you are going to remember is british officer's name british officer's name was jim macpherson name is jim 
Mac for son. And German officer's name? German officer's name is Hans Wolf. I hope it is clear to you all. Just write them down. Yes, Peter. Very good. Very good. Write them down, all of you. Then we will move on to the next point. Yes, Kony received the letter on 25-1-1915. Yes. So the next point would be point number three. Name of the uh, point number uh, three is three, three. Point number three is name of the wife. Name of the wife. Pony. N N I E. Which battle we are talking about? Battle is First World War. Now you can even go online and search for uh, some details of First World War. Okay. First World War details means at least write five lines about First World War. You will easily get it in Google. Write about five lines of First World War in your copy. Okay. So fourth point is the battle was First World War. Fifth point is um, name of the nursing home, Burlington House. Name of the nursing home. No, no, no. So third point would be name of the street where Pony used to live. Remember, a street name was also given where Pony used to live. Got my point? Please find that out. Name of the street. That is Pony's address. Go to your book and find out Pony's address. That will be your fifth point. Got it? Sixth point would be name of the nursing home. Name of the nursing home. Sorry. Name of the nursing home is Burlington House. Got it? Yes, very good. Very good. It is Birdport House number 12. Very well said. It is so I am changing it. All of you have already seen it. So I will change. Name of the street is Godport House number 12. Got it? So fifth point is this. Sixth point is Burlington House. Now seventh point is what is the present? What do you or just write best present? Is hope To die in peace. Now she will die in peace and with the hope that everything is okay now. Got it? I hope you have all got it. These are the seven points that will give you a thorough revision of the whole chapter. Got it? And one more point. Who has uh, won the football match that they were having on the Christmas day? The Germans won the football match. And what did uh, Jim McPherson say? Jim McPherson said that if it is cricket, then we would have won. Because England was known for good cricket. And Germans were known for good football. That is how the German people won the football match. So Jim McPherson said, make it cricket and we would have won the match. Got my point? So I think this chapter is clear to you. As you go through the revision points, you will get a thorough idea of the whole chapter and you will have the whole chapter in your mind. Okay. Now we will move on to the poetry that we have already done. The name of the poetry is The Ant and the Cricket. Right. Name of the poetry is The Ant and the Cricket. Cricket. Now, uh, I'm not writing it down now. Let us first discuss, then I will write the jot down the important points. Um, so, um, ne, uh, the next uh, poetry that we have done through the video lessons is the ant and the 
cricket now what does the poet poetry ant and the cricket say the ant and the cricket is a fable okay i have as i have discussed in the yes ant and the cricket the it is a fable what is a fable fable is a moralistic uh, um, don't leave moralistic fable is a tale with a moral or a story with a moral usually in a fable we have animal characters instead of human characters what it i'll just write down the definition of a fable for you so that you can jot it down in your notebook okay these are called note making you are making your own notes like elder people like grown up people okay so i'll just write down the name of uh, the uh, story the definition of a fable okay fable is a story actually a small story a small story with a moral usually with animals talking and behaving oh sorry okay now it's okay usually with animals talking and behaving like human beings all of you write down the definition you can see i hope a fable is a story with a moral full stop usually with animals talking and behaving like human beings you got it now you can understand why is it called a ant and cricket are attributed yes ant and cricket are attributed with human qualities that is why it is called a fable we want to actually say to those people who do not do their work in time that if you do not do your work on time any work if you are a cook you should do your cooking at time if you are a student you should do your studies in time if you are a teacher like me you should do your classes in time so it is being said to all those human beings who are not doing their work on time if it is summer you should also think about the future that if it is summer and spring the winter is also coming up so i should take up all my things so when the winter comes i don't have to worry about it so the grasshopper sorry the cricket was lazy about his work and he was singing all around the winter all along the winter uh, all along the summer days the happy gay summer days he was singing and singing and wasting time and when the winter came he realized that i don't have any food to eat even not a ground of food to eat so what am i going to do now then when he realized that he went to the ants what a nice question relating to summer are we going to get summer holidays even i am confused about it beta i don't know whether we are going to get summer holidays or not i think our school will reopen after the summer vacation so you are getting your summer vacation now you think so be the cricket and do all your work during this time so that in the winter that means when the school reopens you don't have any problem got my point so uh, the cricket who was not doing his work properly during the summer and he was lazily wasting his time was very much in danger when the winter came he went to the ant and asked for a help so that they can give him food and shelter but the ant who on the other hand was doing their work very diligently throughout the summer they said no you have not done your work i have done my work now as you have sung all along the summer go and dance all along the winter so what is the moral that we get from here that if we do not help ourselves nobody is going to come up and help us told in one of the videos that you have your exam in july 
okay yes i have my exam even after the classes till 2 i will start reading you know what a boring day i teach all the day round till 2 and then i will learn myself very very pathetic what you people are doing also you can write a write uh, to me personally that how you are spending your time god it's getting really boring now i am just terribly waiting to meet you people soon in the class so that we can have a better conversation face to face otherwise a few faces i know the rest i don't so i cannot imagine your faces too so please i want to go back i want that day back when we we can have this classes interactively like in our class whatever the heat may be maybe the fans not working properly no proper seat but still the schools are better isn't it yes so um Uh, the moral that we get from the ant and the cricket is i'm just writing down the moral if we do not help ourselves moral is write down the moral all of you if we do not help ourselves we should not expect help from anybody okay so this is the moral that we get from this chapter got it so i think the, now this chapter is also clear to you the rhyme scheme am rhyme scheme of the chapter i have already made it clear to you now coming to a very important section of your syllabus i'll just keep the moral like this the very important section is called literary devices got it i'll just sit down and tell you about the literary devices what are the literary devices you are old enough to learn the literary devices now i know some of you already know about the literary devices but i still want you people to know a little more about the literary devices what are they literary devices i hope you can all see the board till now yes literary devices are some devices which are used to uh, write poetry okay whenever we are watching any or we are reading any poetry we find several ornaments being used while writing the poetry i will give you some examples some examples of literary devices are yes beta tell me what are your doubts just write it down uh your name is piyush piyush please write sorry write down your uh, doubts if you have any doubts you can also uh, whatsapp me but you can also now i'm as i live and you have some doubts please whatsapp uh, please message if you have any doubts why are you deleting messages you can question me i'll answer yes figure of speech yes beta literary devices are the figure of speech and literary devices are the same they are yes priyashi priyashi tell me about your doubts yes we have time till 150 you can easily tell me about your doubt then we will move on to the literary devices okay so you just type within then i'll just start okay so first literary device or figure of speech is simile second is metaphor that we are going to learn first we are going to learn a simile third second we are going to learn metaphor third we are going to learn alliteration and fourth we are going to learn symbolism and fifth we are going to learn imagery what do you by accustomed what do you mean by accustomed accustomed means when you get used to something for example uh, we are not accustomed with online classes we are not used to online classes beta i am not taking talking about sentences i am talking about literary devices sentences i will give you another video lecture on sentences okay conny was macpherson's wife okay not his mother conny was macpherson's wife okay accustomed means used to for example previously we had black boards right now we have white boards so i am not accustomed to writing in white board i am more accustomed to writing in black board with a chalk so my handwriting is getting worse when i am writing on the white board because i am not accustomed to the white board got it that is the meaning of accustomed 
and um, sentences i will make another video on sentences first listen to the literary devices i hope all of you have uh, written the model so i'll go with the literary devices first one is simile second one is metaphor third one is alliteration fourth one is symbolism and fifth one is imagery there are many 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 more okay but we will for now for class 8 we will learn this four and one more which i will come back later when we are going to do the speech for now we will learn five literary devices or figures of speech okay i'll just give you the definition and the examples okay and what is the meaning of starvation and famine okay starvation and famine means when somebody is having a pain due to not having food that is starvation i am starving give me some food that means i am very very hungry and my hunger is giving me pain okay when your hunger is giving you pain for long time that is called starvation and what is a famine famine is that time when the whole society is not getting food okay that is that time is called a famine when all people around you a whole country or a whole village or a whole society is not getting food then it is called famine what is starvation when you are hungry for a long period of time and it is giving you pain that causes starvation sorrow means sorrow means pain sorrow means dukh in hindi word i don't exactly cannot explain famine is um as i said when the whole society the village or the country is not having food enough to feed themselves that is famine okay trembling is tharthrana trembling is shivering okay like when you are nervous your hands tremble okay trembling means shivering yes sadness beta sadness thank you whoever is explaining sadness because this word was not coming to my mind so uh, very well said sorrow means sadness sorrow comes from sadness when you are sad the feeling that you have is called sorrow what my point so i'm coming back to the literary devices i'll just write down the examples misery also means pain and suffering pain and suffering means misery okay m i a c miserly miserly doesn't means um, suffering miserly means one who is not ready to give away his own things one who is uh, like um, hindi mein jisko kehte hai kanjus what my point miserly is kanjus okay a uh, one who is not ready to give away his own things for example i have a very good collection of ink pen fountain pen i am not ready to give away my fountain pen to anybody so i am miserly about my fountain pens i am kanjus about my fountain pen so miserly means uh, kanjus okay okay ma'am feminine is similar to drought no drought is feminine feminine is not similar to drought feminine means only the lack of food drought is whenever there is shortage of water there is no rainfall no water anywhere the water uh, um, the water bodies are also drying up that is called a drought or feminine is whenever you are having lack of food koth means said q u o t h koth means said it is a use that is used in old english language words like thy means you thou means your koth means said these are old english languages okay now i'm coming back to the literary devices we don't have much time okay see just a second one second just i'll just bring out the uh, the skin is not showing one second just a second everybody okay so um hastily means very quickly hastily means quickly what my point beta so coming up to uh, this simile and metaphor simile is whenever you you are using comparison like when we compare the busyness of the bees with human being so we say as busy as a bee we think that the owls are very wise wise means very knowledgeable so as wise as owl as brave as lion she is beautiful like a flower got it this whenever we are using 
Yes, beta, literary devices and types. Yes, beta, I'm explaining. So whenever we are using, one second. There is some network issue. Okay. Whenever we are, are you able to see all of you? Okay. Whenever we are able to be, we are comparing two things with the use of the words like, with the use of the word like or as, we called it a C, me, li. No I, it's E. What it? We called it a simile. Example is, as brave as a lion, beautiful yellow like the flowers. What's my point? So whenever we are comparing present here to present I present here to present a <laughs> I will just tell you, ma'am, don't get confused. Don't get confused so much. Okay. First, listen to whatever I'm saying, then I'll clear your doubts. Okay. So, when I'm saying the comparison is being made with as or with like, okay, then it is called a simile. Then, what is a metaphor? Metaphor is also a comparison. Metaphor is also a comparison, but without the use of like or as. Then how can we com uh, compare? See, metaphor is a comparison without the use of like or as. How we are comparing? Example, he is an owl in the class. Or... She is the lion of the group. Got it? When we are saying he is the owl in the class, we mean to say that he is as wise as an owl among all the people in the class. But we are not saying he is like the owl or he is as the owl is. No, we are saying he is the owl. That gives direct comparison. Okay. And then we are saying she is the lion of the group. We are not saying she is like the lion. We are saying she is the lion. Okay. Without using like or as, we are comparing two things. Him with the owl. She with the lion. What it? This is called metaphor. Okay. Just like we have said, you are a share. You are a share. Is an example of metaphor. What it? You share. Is an example of simile. Got my point? So you have got two things in your mind now. One is simile and one is metaphor. You can copy down these two examples, all of you. Just in your, yes, beta. Yes, beta. Copy it down in your copy. I mean, no, go copy it down in your copy is what kind of examples I'll be giving. So write it down in your notebook, all of you. I think it is visible. I'll just try a little more. Make it visible. I think it's uh, visible now. Notebook, please. I'll give you two minutes. If you can add up your own examples for the two, you can definitely add up your own examples in your copy or in your notebook. After writing my examples, you can also write down your own examples. Ma'am, I cannot see properly. Yes, beta, you have to make a fair copy. Okay, beta. But if you're not having a fair copy now, you can write it down in a copy in which you are doing all the classworks for now. All the online class classworks. Okay. Okay, next we are coming up to the what called 
alliteration now first write it down then we will move on to alliteration cannot see it clearly beta okay i'll just again try can you see it clearly now maybe there is some connection issues i am reading it out for you those who cannot see it clearly i have written like oblique as then i have written simile then i have written two examples number one is as brave as a lion number two is beautiful yellow like the flowers what it next is like and as i have written then crossed it because we are not using any like or as in the metaphor then i have written metaphor m e t a p h o r metaphor then i have given the example he is an owl in the class he is an owl in the class next example i have written is coming from the window yeah i know but i cannot do there is already a curtain over here i can close this window now is it clear a little bit yes you are right now is it clear a little bit yes beta i think it is a little bit more clear so he is an owl in the class next example is she is the lion of the group got it everybody now we are moving to the next literary device or figure of speech which is called the alliteration now those who are not being able to write it down fast whenever you are going to click on the same link that i have shared in the google classroom and your whatsapp group you can easily see this video again over that you can pause and also can see the class again but for your attendance you have to do the online classes only but for your revision purpose this videos i'll make available for you okay so the next literary device that we are talking about is alliteration a l l i t e r a t i o n alliteration a l l i t e r a t i o n alliteration what is alliteration alliteration is the use of similar sounding letters in the beginning of consecutive words for example god for example uh, the hindi tongue twister that we say chandu ki chacha ne chandu ki chachi ko chandni whatever 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 so that chandu ki chacha ne chandu ki chachi ko is using cha 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 every time what it so that the words are all starting with the word ch now if i say fairy forlorn what the words are starting with f okay funny fat so what the words are starting with f okay next say for example global say um uh, non trite global uh communicative communicative class both of us starting with ka ka whenever the words are yes beta like anuprasha lankar exactly the same thing in hindi anuprasha lankar whenever the consecutive words are starting with the same pronunciation they are called alliteration or the anuprasha lankar as you do in hindi the same thing beta okay so i hope alliteration is clear to you these are the few examples that i have given please write them down communication communicative class fairy forlorn funny fat so these are some of the example these are called this, yes beta it yes beta it is it is alliteration thank you thank you swati for the whole thing thanks a lot 
that you don't have to know please go and find it out phone loan and fatso meaning you don't have to know it's not important you can even find it out in google okay run up okay now you come up and you please write down this example so that we can move on to the next um, thing okay so i think you have i've just read it out again for those the board is not clear alliteration a l l i t e r a t i o n a l l i t e r a t i o n first example is communicative class c o m m u n i c a t i v e communicative class okay bra yes betty ba betty uh, betty butter 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 like that yes the same thing beta next is fairy forlorn fairy forlorn next is funny fat so got it now i'm rubbing it out then moving on to the other two we don't have much time left next one is symbolism symbolism okay number 4 is symbolism s y m yes beta like that only s y m b o l i s m symbolism it comes from the word symbol okay for example when we see a red cross in somebody's car what does that mean that means that that car belongs to a doctor right the symbol of red cross in somebody's car means that that car belongs to a doctor that is what we call symbol what my point when we see that green uh, message like button that button means whatsapp okay when we see that uh, play button red color that button means youtube so these acts as symbol for different things now how is it relevant to poetry it is relevant okay very nice very nice so it is relevant to very nice sign you doing all the classes i'm very very happy so um l yes l means learner plus means a doctor is there very well said so it relates to a symbol then how is symbolism related to poetry say for example uh, when we are stuck at home and we are drawing a mask we are showing a mask that mask means we are amid a pandemic a pandemic of covid 19 right that mask becomes a symbol for example as we cannot yes scholar means lawyer very good don't have to give more examples for example symbolism can be this phone or the this phone contains internet this phone is now my symbol for interaction with the outside world i can interact with the outside world with this phone so when i'm showing phone that means it is my way out this is my anywhere door those who are relevant with doremon this is my anywhere door to the world now got my point so this is what symbolism is for example if the author is saying that um it is a very dark day the dark day over here is a symbolism for something bad that is going to happen what it so this is an example a dark day example dark day means either bad mood sadness or something bad okay what my point this is the bad day the dark day is a symbolism for all this kind of thing it can mean a bad mood it can mean sadness it can mean something bad is about to happen okay similarly a bright day would mean a good hopeful day something good is about to happen some healthy thing got it similarly yesterday as it was a splendid weather in the evening all of us have seen when we are seeing a rainbow yesterday beta shakespeare is a name of an author a very famous renowned author you don't have to think about that so uh, yesterday as we have seen a rainbow it was like a symbol of hope that one day everything is going to be fine we will be fine what it 
so these are what we call symbolism what my point some yes beta yes beta very well said very well said leave it you don't have to talk about shakespeare now when we'll come to shakespeare we'll talk about him a lot okay so i hope sh symbolism is clear to you next we are coming to the another important thing that is most or much used in poetry is called imagery number 5 is imagery 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 is whenever with words we are painting pictures there was the blue sea amid the blue sea we saw a small red boat floating with the waves and the wind can you imagine a blue sea a small red blue boat with a gray colored sail floating with the waves and the wind so with my words i painted a picture which you can see what my point that is how we use imagery imagery means painted pictures with words example of this you are going to find out by yourself i want you people to write down in your copy at least one example of each of the five literary devices by yourself so we have today first revise our chapter the best christmas present in the world then we have revised the ant and the cricket then we have gone through five literary devices now your responsibility is to come and do the online class every day and also to inform others to join the online class i hope everything is clear to you and any further doubts you are having with any things you can message me personally in whatsapp not in the group i hope you enjoyed the class i even enjoyed the class but it would it would be even better when we will will be doing it in the school okay so thank you all of you bye hope to see you in the same time tomorrow okay thank you tomorrow we are going to talk about editing and omission bye everybody good night and uh, one more thing uh, monday we are going to start a new chapter today's assignment is you have to write down all the names of the revision notes you have already made you have to just write down the names and the definitions of the five literary devices and bring out your own examples that is your class work for today okay beta thank you everybody thank you bye didi